how are you all hope you all are doing well so this uh, video is about hiking in the san francisco bay area and uh, i'm not the world's greatest hiker or anything uh, but i've done a couple of hikes you know having lived in california for over 20 years so um i think this one by far is the prettiest hike uh, for me what's uh, important in a hike is beautiful sceneries it can be too hard uh, but as long as i think i take some breaks i i can do uphill also uh, so so this one has a little bit of uphill but a lot of flats as well and it's about nine point something miles so it's quite a big round trip but we didn't do the very end but we did a lot of it so enough to see some beautiful gorgeous scenes some wildlife lots of flowers and just beauty all around so that's what i like in a hike i hope you'll get a chance to check it out we went in april springtime so the flowers were in full bloom and uh, it was just gorgeous so so see what you think and i think you will agree with me so here we are headed to Point Trace Station, which is um, the little town before you get to your hiking spot. So as you can see, you know, it's a beautiful countryside. Um, you feel a lot calmer already. So it's green, there are lots of cows, lots of barns. So a much slower pace of life and definitely very pretty. So here we are at Side Street Kitchen, which is one of the restaurants we like. Uh, I got a matcha tea and uh, this is their pate, which is pretty good. And they also have roast chicken and other such comfort foods. So fairly good, uh, decent food here. Um, actually, Point Reyes Station is pretty good. They have uh, quite a few restaurants. So the other one that we like is Station House Cafe and we thought they had some really good uh, seafood. So I had this lovely fried uh, oysters. I don't eat a lot of raw oysters yet so fried oysters quite delicious and also some mussels that we had uh, ordered in because we um, stayed overnight. There's also cowgirl creamery where you know the famous cowgirl creamery cheese is made so pre-covid you could see them making the cheese but now you can buy a lot of cheese there and uh, they're known for a really good um, cheese sandwich um, and uh, if not that there is also a couple of lovely grocery stores and where you can pick up food from and also bovine bakery across the street has if you can get there early enough you can get yourself some really good croissants so plenty of uh, good food available here um, you could eat when you get into a uh, point race or on your way back or both and maybe even grab a picnic lunch in the middle lots of options so we used the All Trails app and we found quite a few hikes here. Uh, this was the first one we did, the Bolinas Ridge Trailhead. Uh, lovely cows uh, to be seen here. We even had butter made by these cows. Then we went to Abbott's Lagoon Trailhead, uh, which was also a nice, uh, fairly peaceful, all-level hike. And then finally we did um, the Chimney Trail hike uh, prior to the Tomales Point hike. Uh, this was a very short, again, 20-minute hike. Uh, and um, it was uh, quite pretty, very manageable. But our absolute favorite uh, hike was the Tomales Point Trail. So um, from Point Trail Station after lunch, uh, we saw a lot of cows on the way and beautiful wildflowers since it was in the month of April. And uh, I'm sure it's these um, cows that are going around propagating and spreading all these white flowers <laughs> uh, and um, it's a gorgeous uh, drive up it's about 45 minutes from point ray station so it's a little far but but really nice and pretty so here we are at the entrance of tamales point trail and the mcluru's beach is down this way and there's also restrooms there if you want to use them and uh, parking is limited, but we got lucky and we did find a spot. So these trees mark the beginning and the end of the hike. Uh, beyond this point, along the ridge, you don't see any more trees. It's just, uh, you know, shrubs and wildflowers. So it's a little windy. Uh, it's perhaps like this year round. 
um, and we got a little lucky because um, as we were looking around right from the entrance we saw in the distance we could see a herd of elk um, they were far away but uh, hopefully we'll be able to see them closer this trail is over an open ridge and you can see spectacular views of Tamales Bay, Bodega Bay and the Pacific Ocean. So you can see all this beauty in the first mile or two. You don't have to finish the whole thing if you don't want to. Uh, well, you know, it's 9.4 miles, but I think we probably did six or seven miles in all round trip. And it's one of those hikes where right at the start you see a lot and you can see some birds in the distance flying. Okay, here I'm trying to say that you know this is a gorgeous must-do hike and all but because of the wind you can't hear a thing um, but uh, yeah it's a clear day as well so you want, may want to check if it's going to be a foggy day although some people just enjoy hiking even while it's foggy you'll see a ton of wildflowers in the spring uh, California poppies and uh, irises uh, those are the only two I know so um, there are definitely a lot more of other flowers as well and here is a shining example of humans respectfully interacting with nature where this California poppy has managed to survive right in the middle of the trail So there are these little paths uh, off of the main trail but it turns out that you know these are just because more and more humans have been using them you're not supposed to really go towards the edge as you can see here <laughs> um, because but more seriously um, these can um, just come loose and fall you know you could fall off um, so uh, you don't want to end up with an injury or you know losing a life so you want to stay on the designated paths. But the lure of walking towards the ocean is definitely very tempting, but to be highly avoided. So guys, we got really lucky and saw a lot of elk on our way back.
we got so lucky seeing all these elks on our way back so after we washed them to our heart's content uh, you can see the trees again which means we are almost back to uh, our parking area and we were again gifted with the sight of this beautiful perhaps a hawk uh, that came really close to us it was probably catching in the middle of catching some prey and, you know uh, also flying with the currents um, and uh, at times it looked like it wasn't even putting any effort into the flying so this was a lovely little reward at the end of our trip The beauty of this place is just astounding. Even after we were done with the hike, we came upon this lovely mustard patch, just wildflowers in spring and uh, a great place. We saw a lot of people stopping by to take Instagrammable pictures. So it just never ends. Uh, there's just so much to see and enjoy here. So much beauty. So what do you think? Wasn't that lovely? Wasn't that gorgeous? I'm sure you agree with me. And tell me if there's anything prettier in the Bay Area. I challenge you. Until next time, bye-bye.